All right, we're gonna take a look at our 91 ambulance uh, Ford E350 ambulance to RV conversion. We've got everything completed as far as we're gonna go. We're gonna go around and look at the outside compartments. The really nice thing about this is the uh, storage. This compartment that she's opening now is actually accessible from inside and outside. It's where we've got our 12 volt uh, power system, battery system, um, a lot of storage. I'll show you from the inside. All the outside doors, automatically a light comes on when you turn them on. Yeah, there it is. You can access it from the inside as well. And that's it. This compartment. That compartment opens from the outside and inside. The door has a vented, oh, there's the, yeah, that drawer. The door has a vented window that you can lock from the inside. And all the outside doors have, you can lock as well. They have the same matching key. Here's another storage compartment that right now, as you can see, the light comes on. Just got the fire extinguisher. And it's all aluminum clad inside. This was a tall storage unit that we actually made a door from the inside so we could use that for a porta potty closet. We can, we'll show you that from the inside. And it's got some storage underneath as well. That's a vent going up from the, uh, we do have a small black tank, or gray, it's really a gray water tank. Let's go around to the other side first. We got rid of all the uh, ambulance decals and replace them with non-ambulance looking decals. Another big storage compartment. This just has the drain coming from the kitchen sink. We'll show you the inside with the kitchen area here in a minute. A lot of storage. This is the drawer unit that we use for our water hose and our 30 amp plug. On the driver's side as well, we've got the access for the, the 30 amp plug, uh, the water tanks, and the city water connection. Let's open the left one first. There is our water tank, our flow jet pump. Um, it's all PEX inside. We've got an, just an electric 110 volt water heater. Uh, you flip that switch to turn the water heater on. You have to be plugged into 110 to operate that. This compartment also has uh, It'll be a garbage area, and when we show you inside, there's actually a little flap door you can throw garbage to this compartment. And again, a lot more storage. Um, at night, when you're filling water, you can open the door, the light comes on, you can see how full the tanks are, it's really convenient. This was the oxygen tank. Uh, holder for the for the ambulance we converted the oxygen that's the original oxygen tank it had a tall cylinder we converted it to where it actually hold two 20 pound um, propane tanks there's an access door there that you can actually reach in from the inside to turn on the tank or turn off the tank it's ventilated which is really nice and that's about it we've got uh, we replaced some of the uh, ambulance lights with 12 volt LED lights on well, pretty much all four sides I'm gonna go around real quick and show it. Well, I'll go around this way. We have them all on now. They're all individually switched. Uh, just the one on the front is a white. The two on the uh, passenger side are amber. And there's two in back that are white LED. And the ones, and they're pretty bright at night. The ones on the driver's side are white LED as well. All right, we're gonna go inside and look at it. There's some windows we put in that the ambulance didn't originally have on both sides. There you go, you can still see some of the original lettering still kind of on the side of the ambulance. But we'll go in and take a look at the inside. All right, we're gonna go inside and take a look. We've got it plugged into uh, 110 now. So this is the control center. What we've got, they're not labeled, but this one turns the 
main overhead light off and on here. This one's for the front outside light, for the rear outside light, for the right lights, and the left lights. This is the power converter. Has the the uh, breakers. Looks like we need to get it to the body. Breakers. That's the uh, propane and CO monitor. And coming around here, we got our kitchen. What else did you want to look at? Anything? Can we do storage? Oh yeah. Go yeah, sure. Let's go to the storage. That's the pass through. Okay. Got storage up above. A lot of inside storage as well. There's a right there. You have to move the captain. The captain chairs will will swivel, pivot. This is where the electronics used to be for the camper. We just closed it off and turned it into a little storage area. Took all the electronics out because we're not allowed to use them anyway. It's got more storage in the kitchen area and we can turn on this light here. More storage. Off to the side there is a compartment where you can actually access the propane. Tanks are back in there, so you can turn those on and off from inside. More storage underneath. And there's the Flame King two burner stove. I love this rare. She's gonna grab a lighter so we can show you the stove working. Uh, it does not have an igniter, so you have to turn it on. It does have an outside fan that is actually ventilated to the outside. LED light. Uh, we've got a coffee pot that only runs, of course, on 110. Same with the microwave over in this compartment here. Let me turn on the sink light. While she's getting the light, I'm just going to show you the switches real quick. And maybe turn off the fan. These are just kind of stolen from the old ambulance. They already had labels. We just kind of configured it to this little panel. The master, the only thing that does is turn on the lights to show you what the lights, or show you what the switches are. That way, if you're bothered by the light at night, you can just simply turn that off, all the lights are out. Uh, right dome is kind of what we've got on now. That's also uh, the light switch, the center one of those. You can turn it on from here. You can't, it's not a three-way, so you can't turn it off from here. Uh, the suction pump is actually the 12 volt water pump. Left dome are these over here. The fluorescent lights actually just goes to the sink area there. All right, she has got a lighter. So the propane's been off for a while, so. There it goes, all right. All right, two burner stove. Got the vent on. Over here we've got another passenger seat that actually can flip down to make more counter space, which is really convenient. These are the two windows we put in. This one will crank it out. Like I said, the one on the door is ventilated, so you can get some cross through ventilation. This one is just a fixed window for visibility. And it's the, the refrigerator is just a 110 apartment size refrigerator as well. So that you have to be plugged into 110 for that. Up above, got lots of storage. Again, there's the microwave in the compartment and it is fixed. So you don't have to worry about rattling around. Uh, this is, here and cook. you can sit there and cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's very convenient. This is the flap door we were telling you about that'll actually go out to the garbage can outside. And the porta potty cabinet. Unfortunately, this door does not make the light come on in there, but at least you do have access from inside for the porta potty. This was completely closed off when we got it, so we actually had to make that, uh, that door and assembly in it. Kind of the coolest thing about this is the uh, bed. This was a custom made bed. And we've still got, I don't know if you want to keep underneath, we've got that. The storage underneath, we've got a ma uh, mattress pad, I memory think, under foam. there. There's a memory foam mattress. Memory foam mattress that we store under there to put on top the cushions. 
But we're gonna show you how this makes out into a bed. It's a very comfortable couch. But this was quite a project. There you go. And, yeah, slide them, they'll lock into place. Make sure and pull it all the way out, and that way, when you open, there we go. When you open the, uh, fold over the plywood, it's all piano hinged. When you fold it over, it's actually made to lock into place there. And this is extremely lightweight, and it is extremely solid. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> no rattle, no shaking, it's good. And really easy to take apart and put back together, so. Um, wow, well that's pretty much Can it. Can you show out the seatbelts in the back? It's got seatbelts in the back. There's places for three people to sit on that side when it's made into couch mode. The one over there that has a seatbelt as well. That one um, also has a seat belt. So in theory, you can sit one, two, three, four, five people in back and two people in front. And that is our ambulance. Do you want to turn the AC on just so we can see if it works? Because what good is a camper without air conditioning? Nice, quiet air conditioner. I can feel it from back here. All right, that is the end of our official ambulance to RV conversion. Thank you for watching. Something else I wanted to show here is we have these two um, in-floor trucks uh, we installed that we actually placed for our Metropolitan scooters, Honda Metropolitans which worked perfectly for our two scooters side by side. We could haul those. So this essentially became our toy hauler. Um, we would, we'd pull our boat, put our scooters in here. Um, it, hold, it held them down really well. Uh, it's got the uh, tie downs across the side. We could actually loop those across the floorboard of the Metropolitan scooters. Um, so it might work for it will definitely work for Honda Metropolitans. It might work for uh, dirt bikes and things like that as well. I'll get the dimensions uh, off the uh, back door presently.